telling you about the belted kingfisher, also known as Megasaril alcyon. The belted kingfisher is brightly colored with a large head and long toes in the order Crassiformes and the family Alcinidindae. The tools of the trade for the belted kingfisher are its beak shape, which is pointed, almost dagger-like, and its toe arrangement, which is syndactyl, meaning that the inner toes are fused together. The diet of the kingfisher consists of small fish, crayfish, mollusks, crustaceans, insects, amphibians, reptiles, young birds, small mammals, and even occasionally berries. Belted kingfishers are sexually dimorphic, and actually the female is the one that wears the belts in the family. She has the characteristic rusty colored belt, whereas the male is a blue drab with a white belly. Why would the females be the one with the belt? Males are highly territorial with their fishing breeding spots, and a rusty colored belt on the belly may tell a male that she's a welcome female instead of another male coming in trying to occupy his territory. When belted kingfishers forage, they'll fly and dive with closed eyes and grab the prey and in their bill with a pincer-like motion. They select clear waters with unobstructed view and low turbidity and they'll perch nearby on twigs, docks, or pilings. So you've heard of aerodynamic before. How about hydrodynamic? So if a kingfisher had a rounded beak, such as on the left, it would push water ahead of it, which would scare or displace the prey. Instead, the wedge-shaped beak of the belted kingfisher enters the water without a splash and increases the chances of a successful hunt. Look how cute the belted kingfisher is with its catch and its beak. No other bird is more proud of its catch than a kingfisher. They're found throughout North America. They're resident to long distant migrants. So in much of the breeding range, open water is available year round throughout the winter, so kingfishers may stay. However, there are groups of kingfishers that do migrate to Mexico. And males seem to travel shorter distance than females, possibly so they can protect their breeding areas that have the really good fishing grounds. Belted kingfishers are burrow nesters, and they excavate burrows on the sides of shore banks, and they're really susceptible if there's any nearby construction or timber management going on that would erode away into their nest. Their own excavation usually takes three to seven days, but occasionally it'll take up to three weeks. Both the male and female participate in creating their nests. And they have a messy housekeeping style, which where they don't remove all of their coughed up pellets that contain undigested fish bones, and it serves as an insulator for their nest. While the belted kingfisher is amply named for its skill at fishing, I do believe it should be renamed the queenfisher for it is she who is the one with the characteristic belt.